Thank you, uh, Nemani, and uh, thank you for joining us again with one of our DFFM USA videos from uh, our media center here in uh, California. Tell us uh, a little bit about yourself. Uh, where do you come from? And uh, a bit about your history back in Fiji. Look, uh, my name is Nemani Ramasei. I'm from uh, Nakolebo village in the uh, Tikino of Nakelo, province of Tilebo. I am the uh, younger brother of uh, the late Nimelote Virambasanga, who was tortured and uh, killed by the uh, Fiji military forces on January the 5th, 2007. Alright, now I understand that um, you would like to share uh, the story of the death of your brother. Can you briefly tell us? Uh, how that happened? How did that come about? He was uh, sleeping at home on that uh, night and uh, in the morning soldiers came in, took him and uh, tortured and beat him up until he died on that day. Uh, what was the reason uh, he was killed? Uh, Nemani? Why was he taken up to the military camp? The reason is uh, behind a piece of land that was uh, returned to uh, Nakolebu and um, Tumavia landowners. And um, Tumavia got uh, dissatisfied and they wanted uh, more land apart from the uh, 2.7 acres that was allocated to them and uh, 46.3 acres for Abusa Nakolebu. So they got greedy, they, um, they wanted 50-50 of that land they couldn't get it and they called on the military to come and uh, get uh, Nimelote as a uh, way of uh, revenge. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, explain to us what actually happened? How, how was it taken and you know, what was done to him? Can you just tell the viewers out there what actually happened to him on that day when he died? The uh, soldiers came, picked him up and they took him to the uh, Wulebu. They beat him and they kicked him and um, he had a lot of internal injuries. He died from uh, brain hemorrhage and there was a lot of internal bleeding. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you aware of these people who did this to Nimilote? Yeah, the uh, names of uh, the soldiers were later revealed after six months of waiting. Uh, there was injustice and, uh, done to us because there was a similar case in Lambasa where an Indian man died and after a week, you know, the investigations were going. Whereas for us, we had to wait for uh, six months for the investigations to complete and, uh, you know, the army was just uh, playing their uh, daddy games. Um, some of the names were the lone uh, Maika of uh, Koro and um, I know there was uh, Al Pati Rabitu involved. He was from Nela, you know, he's closely related. And uh, there was a, a Johnny who was a, a taxi driver also from Nosori. They used to drive a taxi together with Masanga. He was in the military? He was in the military. He didn't want to take part in the uh, beating. So according to the uh, uh, eyewitnesses, they, um, they forced him to uh, beat up Nimilati. Now, the events of the day, how did you find out that uh, Nimilati had been killed? My family were um, waiting uh, on that day, from the morning, the time he left at 5 o'clock till uh, 5 o'clock in the evening when the news came that he died. Whereas um, there were other families in the village who knew the news at 10 o'clock in the morning, whereas it came to us at 5 o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. um, how did you feel, you know, the first time you heard about it? How did you feel, uh, Nemani? I was in America on the, that day, and uh, you know, it's it's sad. It's really sad. You know, my family was torn apart. There was no justice uh, done till today, and uh, all we want now is justice to be served on the killers, because they still they still out there in the streets in Fiji. So you mean they haven't been charged? Well, what has happened to those people who killed your brother? There was only one soldier who, um, who was charged. He was jailed only for a couple of days and later on, uh, on he was released. Whereas the other people, you know, they're still, they're still working. 
they still roaming the streets in Fiji. And uh, by doing this video, uh, are you looking for a way for justice for the wrong that's been done to your family? Absolutely. You know, it's not only for my family, it's also for um, Sakusa Rambaka's family and uh, Tebita Malasembe's family. All um, these three, they died together and um, during the um, early days of the coup in Fiji and there was no justice uh, done to the family. So uh, with this video, I hope that, uh, you know, someday we'll get justice and uh, so that we can put this case to rest. Right. Uh, people have been telling uh, DFFM and you can see in the discussions on the blogs, on Facebook, uh, on uh, other blogs, anti-government blogs, they said, uh, you know, why go back to the past? Why bring this out and, you know, bring back the hurt? Why don't you just forget about it and uh, go with the new order and just continue? What do you think of that, uh, Nemani? Well, you know, we all human beings, we deserve justice, you know, we want to um, move on with our lives and... Uh, the way the military has handled this case, it, it is really sad. You know, if if it happens to you and your family, you will feel, you know, what we're feeling right now. And um, till today, the military hasn't apologized. So it's after five years, nothing has been said. And, you know, they continue to ignore the case. And we're still suffering. Mm -hmm. How how are you pursuing this? Uh, what other avenues are you looking at to try and uh, bring uh, justice uh, to your family and uh, to rectify the problem and the hurt that's been done to you? How What other avenues are you looking at, uh, Nemani? Well, there's a uh, human rights uh, group at uh, Stanford uh, University, and uh, I've written to them and also the uh, World Human Rights Commission. I'm thinking of uh, going there too. If you would like to make an appeal to people out there, those who support uh, Mani Marama and his new order, uh, what would you like to share with them and to tell them about the experience uh, that you and your family have gone through? The um, people of Fiji should know that uh, the government is illegal and uh, Mani Marama is unpredictable. He can turn around and get one of your relatives and kill them and they'll exactly do what it, he did to my uh, brother. Just totally ignore the case and you know just shove it aside and um, we hope that uh, people will you know stand up and uh, tell him that whatever has been done is wrong and he should face the consequences of it. So would it be fair to say that um, those who support Mani Marama actually support the killing of uh, civilians like your brother, late brother Nemani? Absolutely. You know, if people cannot stand up and speak, then they're supporting it. All right. Uh, and to, to this day, those people are still roaming free. Nothing has been done to them apart from that soldier. Yeah, it, it's so sad that uh, even though Mike is part of it, you know, there are other people who are involved, directly involved. Even um, Rambito goes around Nosori town and, you know, it, it, it starts telling all the people what he did to Masanga. Who is uh, Rambito? It's um, Alipata Rambito. He's the driver for the uh, Telugu Provincial Council and he's also a soldier. So he was the uh, sergeant on the day who went to the village and got Masanga from home. Is it true that uh, some of the people from the village or who are related to you actually took part in the killing of your brother? Well, it, it takes five years for us to uh, get all the pieces together. We have uh, seen, we have heard stories, and, uh, you know, you cannot deny, you cannot uh, ignore all these things. Mm -hmm. It'll show up one day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's someone watching up there. And, you know, justice has been served to them, and we are demanding justice from the military too. Mm -hmm. Nemani, yeah, this is just a quick uh, highlight of uh, what to expect because DFFM USA will be producing a longer documentary on the story of your late brother and what happened to him. Uh, but uh, just to wrap up this short uh, piece, uh, what would you like to say to viewers out there about the situation in Fiji, especially relating 
to your family the money uh, situation in Fiji with this uh, new order coming up you know it's already been there it is it's dangerous so uh, people need to um, to be careful of what they say and um, if they uh, fall into the wrong pit you know Ben Marama will get them and they should realize that uh, the uh, powers has been given to the uh, security forces just to kill anybody that uh, you know come their way so it's best for the people to be educated to know that everything is illegal the emergency uh, regulations that was there got lifted replaced by the order which is more dangerous than before and uh, through this video I hope that people will be uh, educated on uh, the situation in Fiji and not only the people back home and the people all over the world too that uh, the regime continues to uh, come up with uh, legislations and all these decrees that uh, they're just heading into a, a dictatorship state. Mm -hmm. uh, just on the last bit on your family, where is the the children of uh, your late brother and uh, his family? The, money? the family has been in New Zealand uh, since uh, 2008 and um, they've settled there and the New Zealand government has helped them and, and I would like to thank the New Zealand government for that. Yamani, thank you very much for joining us here at uh, DFFM USA. We look forward to seeing you again when we produce the uh, full documentary of the uh, passing away of your late brother. We know